Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our winter band concert. On stage is the symphonic band this evening, and uh, we're happy to be performing for you. Uh, at this time, we ask if you have uh, any cell phones or electronic devices that may make sound, that you silence them at this time. And we also ask that you hold any flash photography during the performance. Uh, we'll save that for the end, and we'll have each group stand up to get a, a nice photographic moment for your uh, history and to embarrass the kids when they get to their uh, graduation parties and stuff like that. So we're happy to be here this evening and we're going to start off with a concert march. This is a Carl King uh, concert march. Carl King was a composer of circus marches. So a march like you would hear tonight entitled the Alamo would have been probably performed night after night after night for the circus by the Barnum and Bailey Circus Band. And I can imagine each time they did it, they probably did it a little bit different. So I um, hope you enjoy the Alamo by Carl King.
Our next tune is entitled Moscow 1941 by Brian Balmages. And I would like to read a little bit of the program notes for you to have a better understanding of the piece. This song identifies with an extremely important moment in the history during the Second World War in which the Red Army against all odds successfully defended Moscow against German invasion. In October of 1941, German troops were only 15 miles outside of Moscow in, un in an unfavorable situation for the Soviet Union. Two million people had evacuated Moscow, but Joseph Stalin stayed to rally morale. In November, the Germans launched a new attack on Moscow. The Soviet army held their ground and brought the Germans to a halt. Stalin insisted on a counterattack, and although his commanders had doubts, they launched their own offensive on December 4th. The Germans, caught off guard and demoralized by the recent defeat, were pushed back and began retreating. By January, they had been pushed back nearly 200 miles. Uh, this tune is uh, one of Russia's famous folk songs, and the lyrics uh, go like this. Metal lands, metal lands. Through your heroes are now trending, Red Army heroes of the nation, Heroes of the mighty Red Army, ah. Maidens are weeping, their solitary vigils keeping, weeping for their sweethearts who are fighting. Fighting the mighty Red Army, ah. Gay roads are winding, the sunlight on them now is shining. Over them, the heroes are passing, heroes of the mighty Red Army, ah. Let every maiden, with heart no longer heavy laden, strike up the singing, now more loudly. Sing for our fighting song so proudly. Ah. We hope you enjoy Brian Balmage's Moscow 1941.
begin the, the holiday season with a, a, a famous tune um, entitled You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch, one of my favorites. tune is uh, a Catalan carol entitled Thumb, Thumb, Thumb. And Catalonia is a region northeast Spain, famous for lovely capital and its port city Barcelona, and its fine wines and high quality olive oil, its distinguished artists and spirit of independence. Perhaps the best personified musically is by most celebrated son, self-exiled Pablo Casals. 
Spanish is spoken there, and of course, but so is Catalan, which is a distinct and separate language and not a dialect. Uh, this tune, um, Thum Thum Thum, the lyrics represent the strumming of a guitar, and you'll hear the, the band do some vocals along with it. So it's a fun little peppy tune, and we hope you enjoy um, Thum Thum Thum. At uh, this time, as the bands uh, change over here on stage, I'd like to welcome our band booster uh, president, Ms. Kim Dale. All right, we're going to try to make this as brief as possible. We've got a few announcements we want to make. But first thing first, want to thank the directors for all of their hard work tonight and for how beautiful and how great the students are looking, the stage, the poinsettias. Um, to talk about it later, but the reasons why these guys are in uniforms tonight, uh, Mrs. Check and Mrs. Jeffries, thank you very much for taking on the coordination of these uniforms because otherwise they would not have looked as awesome tonight. So thank you. <laughs> We're pretty excited. All right, so another really huge announcement tonight. We've been working for the last two years, literally, or more, on our 501c3 status, and I'm pleased to announce tonight that as of May of 2018, we now are officially nonprofit. Um, I don't know. Okay, so what's gonna happen is we're gonna get a letter somewhere in the next few weeks, and we're gonna give you guys all the nitty gritty details on what that means, but you'll have to talk to your tax advisor. We don't give tax advice. Um, but what that does mean in the back of this program here, there's this patron donation thing now. Not only do you get your name in here, um, but you'll be able to talk to your tax advisor and potentially see a write-off for that as well. So we're super excited about that. Now onto the fun reminders. Um, a phenomenal band trip is coming up, so just a reminder if you didn't already make your November payment um, to go ahead and get in there and get that processed. The next one won't be due until the end of January. By January, you will see that $75 that the band boosters is kicking over to each of those students as well as any dollars that were in their trip accounts. Those will be applied by that January one, so you should be able to see everything by that January payment due date to Bright Spark. 
Any questions, ask later. It's a list. All right, so you guys probably saw an email come out about lesson reimbursements. Lesson reimbursements are encouraged for every single student. It's not financial aid based. We want the students to get as much as they can out of their time here in band, whether it was middle school, high school, you got other students coming up. There's money allocated from the boosters. That's why we do all the fundraising we do so we can continue to continue, excuse me, to support the programs and their learning advancements. So there's not only a lessons reimbursement, but there's also a summer scholarship program for the band camps. Herder, uh, Blue Lake, and MSU also does a camp. So there's three different programs that usually do start to fill up as early as March. We tell you this now because we've allocated $2,000 to go towards all of the students that apply. It's not really an app apply, it's turn it in, we give you money. It's not financial aid based either, so we highly encourage the summer camps. A lot of the kids that have gone are a lot of fun, and this is different from the school camp we'll do in the first week of August. I recommend it. A few quick volunteer needs that you'll hear about in the upcoming months. We have solo and ensemble that will be hosted here on Saturday, January 19th, so just look for the Google Docs on that. We'll need to talk more about that. Um, and then the spring concert we're gonna do, we're looking for maybe someone who might wanna coordinate that little concert uh, after party cake, something simple afterwards. So if you're interested, um, you can see anyone from the board, Mr. Gott, Mr. Larson, and you don't have to commit today. Just something to think about. We probably won't put a flyer out about that. Noodles fundraiser is going to be on January 9th. Yes, that's the week that the kids have gone back to school and you're probably really tired of cooking anyhow. So come out, make it a fundraiser, make it a fun event. And the students that are performing at Solon Ensemble will also be performing some of them I hear of that night as well. That happens to also be the night of a band booster meeting. So if you get really excited, you can come visit us. That is on a Wednesday. Uh, I believe that's it. So thank you again for everybody. Have a great holiday season and Merry Christmas. If you would just give us just a moment, we're going to tune and then I'll introduce the band and the next piece we'll play. This first piece that we're performing is by James Barnes, and he has some program notes about it. It was written 150 years as a um, 
I'd say as an anniversary, but as a, a remembrance of the Trail of Tears. It was written in 1989. And um, the composer describes it, not my words, but the, um, one of the largest embarrassments and, uh, and very uh, bad moments in our government's history, which we could all agree. The music is a tone poem, and it brings out the emotion. It'll start out with a uh, flute that's very serene and just the peaceful nature and, uh, of the Native Americans. And then it goes into the friction that becomes as the settlers come in, and, um, and that's uh, much faster music and, and more explosive, and you'll hear that. And then it, it goes into a section that um, you will hear the cavalry, you'll hear the bugle charge and the echo of that. And you'll also hear um, the native Cherokee language uh, whispered and then um, ending up in shouting um, from the band. The poem goes, Devish Konk, Julio Husa, which is let us mourn those who have died. Devish Konk, Ayohist, let us mourn those who are dying, and Adish Konk, Deyanoti, which is let us mourn those who must endure. As you remember, there were over 4,000 Native Americans that, that died, um, either of starvation or the, the brutal winter and, and everything that happened there. It ends with hope, though, and, um, and that's nice, and you'll hear the triumphant theme, and that is demonstrate how that you can overcome. I would just note that the composer also put that this type of event, we learned this on our Boston trip a number of years ago, but this type of event can happen if we're not astute to making sure that we take care of people that are weaker than us as well. So I hope you enjoy, or experience, I should say, the Trail of Tears. Thank you. 
Our next piece is arranged by Eric Osterling. It is called Dixie Land Review, and it features our quartet here, Joanna Davis, Katie Redmond, Liam Charney, and Joseph Eckler. And it also features the pieces, uh, Waiting for the Robert E. Lee, Just a Closer Walk with Thee, and That's a Plenty. We hope you enjoy Dixieland Review.
we had snow. I'm sure we'll have it again. A little rain, a little sunshine. 60 degrees, but I see the hats and the percussion, so that can only mean one thing. We'll go sit back, enjoy the relaxing music of Leroy Anderson's sleigh ride. As we make an adjustment to our last piece in full band, I'd like to welcome over here to uh, stage left our marching uniform uh, coordinator, Ms. Carrie Johnson.
You will also find the information in that email to access the Gleason website where you can order your photos online. They will not be delivered in time for the holidays if you order now, but they will be delivered after the Christmas break. Okay, the second thing is if you have always wanted to volunteer but you haven't had the time, we have a great opportunity for you. We are working on cleaning all of the raincoats and they are already bagged up in bags that you can collect tonight and clean at your leisure at home. They're not due until the end of February. Um, all of the information, it will be at a station just outside the auditorium. I will also be out there if you wanted to come up and just ask questions. I'm happy to answer any questions. We'll, we need 16 volunteers. There are 10 raincoats per bag. It's fairly simple. Um, anyways, thank you very much, Mr. Gott. So I just want to thank you, um, Poinsettia volunteers. Uh, don't don't forget to uh, come and pick these beauties up. And thank you for your support in dressing our stage and and working with uh, Van Adams. Thank you, uh, Karen East, also for coordinating. I just want to thank all of you for your involvement. Uh, students up here, anywhere from six and almost six and a half years of experience um, to three and a half. And it's just amazing. I just. Uh, you know, watching the students work and just remembering some of those times from when they're, you know, here and we're making moose sounds. You remember. And appreciate the encouragement that you do. There's a lot that's involved in making an art program um, work. I want to thank specifically uh, people that support that are, that are behind the scenes, but so important to us. Uh, one is Mr. Dutcher and the TV group. They're here at everything that happens in December, which this is going on. So thank you very much, uh, TV and Mr. Dutcher. Thank you. And the person that came up with this little idea, too, and that is not such a little idea. He does amazing things. If you came to the musical, the, the uh, sewer scenes where they're gambling underneath and all of that, just creative, beyond belief, runs the lights, runs the sounds, and all of his students that have helped us up. How about a big, uh, big thank you to Mr. Hepfer, please. So it's hard to believe, I want you to relax, I don't want your blood pressure to go up, but I want you to think ahead. Can you believe it? We come back from break, Wind Ensemble has a concert in six uh, class days. That's a mentoring concert. It's on a Tuesday um, this year. We all, that's because our pre-solo and ensemble workshop is on that Monday, a week from when we get back. That's right, one week after, seven days later, that's when we have the pre solo and ensemble workshop, which are students that are participating in 52 events this year, which is phenomenal. And thank you for the willingness on students' behalf to do all of this work. But that solo and ensemble workshop is on that Monday concert, Tuesday for Wind Ensemble. And guess what Saturday is? Solo and ensemble, yes. So you will be seeing some emails now that this concert is concluding, and we would love to have you come and help out. You have not had fun until you have run a warm-up room with us. It is just terrific. It is a lot of fun, and I will tell you that we have compliments every year based on our students' work and on your work as volunteers. Okay? I won't even tell you the other things that happen, because again, I want you to relax over the holidays and enjoy it with your family and friends. This piece is uh, arranged by Ralph Ford, and this is Let It Snow Mixed with Winter Wonderland. And thank you again for all of your support, and we look forward to seeing you in 2019.